Here are 10 dinners that require only five ingredients. First off, I'm allowed three freebies that do not go against the count of my ingredients. Salt, pepper, and oil, because everybody has those. And if you don't, you shouldn't be cooking. I'm breaking out the air fryer for air fried pork chops with mashed potatoes and green beans. The five ingredients for this dinner are pork chops, croutons, green beans, mashed potatoes, and eggs. You take those flavorful croutons, puree them in a food processor, and you've got the most delicious breadcrumbs. That's gonna be our breading along with some egg. I'm gonna salt and pepper the pork chops, dip them in my egg, and then into the breadcrumbs. And they're ready for the air fryer. Then for my sides, I'm just going to saute some green beans in olive oil, salt and pepper. And that, of course, my mashed potatoes are ready. This is not cheating to say you're gonna buy some refrigerated mashed potatoes. It definitely shortens your grocery list so that you're not buying potatoes, cream, butter, and everything else you're making fresh, so why not? That crouton shortcut might be the best breadcrumb ever. Golden brown and crunchy. Cooking with five ingredients definitely takes the stress out of cooking. And with this meal, I didn't even break a sweat. I'm going with an elegant seafood dinner next. Salmon, asparagus, breadcrumbs, rice, and Dijon mustard. I said cooking with five ingredients is less stressful. I'm even gonna throw most of this dinner right here on a sheet pan. Cook it all together and we have minimal pans to clean up. Brushing Dijon is going to act not only as a flavor ingredient, but also as the glue to get our topping to stick. Using a seasoned breadcrumb also eliminates ingredients while adding extra flavor. Okay, now just drizzle it with a little olive oil so it gets nice and golden brown. I'm gonna get my salmon going, then I'm gonna toss my asparagus with a little oil, salt, and pepper and add it to the sheet tray about halfway through. While my salmon cooks, I'm going to get my rice going. It should all come together at the same time. Again, stress-free cooking. Look at this dinner. These five ingredients are fit for company, as far as I'm concerned. Break out the wine. Simplicity at its finest. This is definitely something I would make on a weekly basis in my house. And look, cleanup is gonna be a breeze because this is all I've got. This next meal is so good. This meal is sliced steak with some arugula over some crusty bread. Now I chose Texas toast. If you don't wanna do this, you can just do plain bread, but I'm telling you, this is going to deliver more flavor for fewer ingredients. Watch how I do this. Even if I had countless ingredients to choose from, I would still only season my steak with salt and pepper. And you know I love to cook my steaks in cast iron skillets. To make this arugula salad, all it is is a squeeze of fresh lemon. This is really gonna cut through that richness of the steak. Just a little olive oil, salt and pepper. This is kind of a fun Friday night meal where you just kind of keep it casual at home, let everybody build their own plate. I just thought I should sample the perfect bite. Mm. Mm. All I'm saying is if you chased that with a little sip of Cabernet, perfection, perfection. This next dinner features one of our low carb favorite. The five ingredients here are spaghetti squash, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, ground beef, and a little shortcut, this pepper stir fry mix. I've simply roasted the spaghetti squash with just a little oil, salt, and pepper. Now I'm just taking the strands out and we are going to make this into a casserole. These Italian style tomatoes are also a good shortcut because they have garlic and basil and oregano in there. So again, a few ingredients into one. Just in the skillet alone is already five ingredients and I still have two to go, but I didn't cheat. Okay, this is gonna require some strength. I don't usually love spaghetti squash, but this looks really good and this would appeal to my keto friends as well. This looks like a comforting casserole if you were gonna splurge for a sixth ingredient, I think some fresh basil or parsley would look really pretty on top, but I can't do that because y'all might call the ingredient police on me. Keeping with casseroles, I chose this next recipe from All Recipes because it had the word easy in it. It starts with ground beef and then it adds a couple creative convenience products that tie in a bunch of flavors just in a single jar. I love creamy enchiladas, so this is perfect. You just simply add the salsa con queso straight to the ground beef. Just to thicken it up even more, I'm gonna add some of the shredded cheese into the filling and then the rest on top. Next is jarred salsa that's acting as the enchilada sauce in this casserole. You could definitely sub red or green enchilada sauce in place of this, but I'm gonna stick with the recipe. 
Then you just fill your tortillas, roll them up, stick them in the casserole dish, top it with more salsa and cheese. Yes. This is definitely great for a good weeknight meal. And this is also what my kids are having for dinner tonight. This next five ingredient recipe was inspired by none other than TikTok. The five ingredients here are tomatoes, feta cheese, basil, garlic, and pasta. Tomatoes, oil, salt, and pepper to start. Next, the magic ingredient, which is a whole block of feta cheese. This is going to cook down and become the creamy sauce. Sort of excited about this and also sort of mad I didn't think of it first. We just bake this for about 30 to 35 minutes. <laughs> Looks just like in the video. Okay, at this point we'll add some fresh garlic and then some fresh basil. All right, watch the magic happen. Oh yeah. It looks like the video, but let me see if it lives up to the hype. How is it not supposed to be good? It's so creamy, but the burst of fresh tomatoes is like amazing. It's, it's almost healthy. Breaking out the slow cooker for this next five ingredient dinner, buffalo chicken lettuce wraps. Yum. The five ingredients for this recipe are chicken breast, ranch seasoning, buffalo sauce, lettuce, and blue cheese. Talk about easy prep. This recipe, prep time, about 30 seconds. My chicken is cooked perfectly. All you do is shred it with a fork and serve it up in your lettuce leaves. For my fifth ingredient, I've chosen blue cheese because it's a natural complement to the buffalo chicken. Um, but if you don't like that, you could always sub celery or carrot sticks um, or even just a little ranch dressing to keep it within the five ingredients. This truly is the perfect bite. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a barbecue chicken pizza. Three of the ingredients are pizza dough, chicken, and cheese. You can switch out the other two for different sauce or toppings. Pizza is the ultimate one pan meal. I think this is a complete dinner because you've got all of your food groups in one beautiful package. This five ingredient meal is street tacos with chorizo. This recipe actually only calls for four ingredients, so you've got a freebie that you can add yourself. I'm going to do a side of roasted sweet potatoes because I just think that would be tasty here. These corn tortillas taste best when they're grilled over an open flame. If you don't have this kind of stove, you can just use your grill outside. Street tacos are classically simple. Okay, they're just simple in nature. Just a little bit of onion and cilantro. It may not look like much, but that right there is the perfect bite. The moral of the story, start with a flavorful ingredient like chorizo, and you've got five ingredients tied into one. They make some really good quality jarred sauces, and in this case, stir fry sauces, that I think will eliminate a lot of stress and ingredients that you have to buy. This recipe really only had a couple ingredients, just the pork and the sauce, so I was able to round it out to a full dinner by adding pre-cooked rice, bell pepper, and sugar snap peas, so I've boosted the nutrition and made this a complete dinner. Just gonna saute the pork in a little bit of oil. Not only does this look just good and healthy, but it smells amazing, and that's all those spices that's in those convenience pouches. You can actually see all five ingredients, and I'm not mad about it. I really love reading your comments and suggestions, so let me know what you wanna see me cook next. In the meantime, I'm throwing in the towel. Hey, Phil, about pineapple on pizza? Not a fan, you know, not a fan of the pineapple on pizza. Don't hate it, but I don't love it.